Today I'm going to show you a property in the amazing town of Faro San Martino. Just look at the scenery here. This one, ladies and gentlemen, is absolutely stunning. So this is the center of beautiful Faro San Martino. I just picked my moment, didn't I, when they're playing Ave Maria, 12 o'clock. I'll let you listen to the atmosphere. So the town is actually getting re ready for a huge religious festival, famous religious festival next week. Uh, which is the arrival of La Madonna di Fatima that is coming to be helicoptered in a statue of uh, Mary and the town will be in Festa for a couple of days really is a beautiful place right in the heart of the Maya National Park not the best day today unfortunately to shoot this video but I'm here now so and I like to keep it real. There's a few clouds today, but just look at this, the cut in the mountain here. I'll uh, show you that in a, in a few, uh, few minutes. So this is the center, has everything here, post office, restaurant, bars, um, chemist, tabacayo, which is a, like a news end, everything, supermarket. It's a brilliant, brilliant place. About 40 minutes from the coast, 40 minutes to the main ski resorts. Just a superb place. So this is the this is the center. And then there is another piazza down these stairs as well where they have the markets and things like that. Really atmospheric, uh, atmospheric place. And next week there's gonna be thousands and thousands of people here when the uh, when the famous statue that you can see the publicity for there, La Madonna di Fatima, and she comes into town. So, the property we're going to see here is, <laughs> you guessed it, it's a stunning property, it really is. Somebody that is, is looking to get a, a real historical piece of Italy that they can turn into something incredible. Just get ready for this one. Before we go to the property, there's just a couple of other highlights of Faro San Martino that I want to show you. And then we'll, uh, we'll get into the video. While I was in the town, I mentioned to you the, the crack in the mountainside, and that's another thing that Faro San Martino is famous for. Just look at this. This is called the Gol di San Martino, the throat of St. Martin. And as you can see down there, you get quite a number of visitors and you can actually walk. Let me see if I can zoom in. You actually walk right through the crack in this mountain and you can actually touch the sides of the mountain once you get in there. It's incredible. And then there's an old, old, very old, I think it's around about 800 years of story of a monastery in there as well, the, the ruins of a monastery. It really, we talk about that word stunning, I, I know I use it a lot, but again, what can you say about this? How amazing is this? And this is right on your doorstep from the house that we're going to see, because you can actually walk down to this. And it's all part of the Maella National Park. Do you like what I did then? Did you see, did you see the way I've got the, the cinematic thing going off? Oh, don't mess around here, you know. It's all... Uh, it's all well thought out. <laughs> now down here is absolutely amazing. You can walk for miles and miles uh, in there and get to the highest point of this part of the Apennines to Monte Amaro. So I'm going to show you another quick thing while we're here because it's worth seeing that is down in the valley side here and it's basically what the pasta factory, uh, what Di Checo Pasta and, and, and those have, have, have done um, because the, the water they take from the mountains 
and it goes straight into their factories and that's how they make the pasta. Uh, but they've created picnic areas and all that kind of thing. So I just want to quickly show you that before we head to the house. So be patient, be patient. It's coming soon. So these are the picnic areas that I wanted to, to show you. Just look at the colour of this water. This gets channeled right into the pasta factory. To Di Cecco Pasta, Del Verde Pasta and the other Cocco, which is more specialised pasta. It's also nicknamed the Green River. It's not green, it's just clear. It's so, uh, so beautiful. And there's walkways. Don't know if you can make them out through here. There's a bar here that's uh, open sort of from now and through summer. It's just a beautiful place to be. And always in the shadow of the beautiful Myla mountain range. Great, uh, great place to hang out and especially on those hot, hot summer days. Okay, so now it's time folks, it's time to see the house. And this one, as I said before, is a brilliant one. It's just slightly out of that little centre that I showed you, but I wanted to just show you that how Far San Martino sits in the mountainside. Just look at this. And here's all new parking as well that they've put down here. That's the historical centre. And look at the mountains. They've done a lot of work in this town. And it's, it's quite a rich town as well because of obviously Di Cecco Pasta, Del Verde Pasta. There's also Cocco Pasta here as well. They actually make it here. Okay, so we'll head down to the house, which is sort of a, down this side. Just wait while you see this one. Okay, so we're in the heart of the historical center of, uh, of Faro San Martino. I've got to admit, this, <laughs> this property is, is just an amazing one. It really is. Basically, it's difficult to see from the outside because you get this balcony here and the terrace on top. But then the house sort of wraps more around this side. It's a huge property. Really characteristic, really... Uh, but it's one of those that's just difficult to photograph. You'll see as we go in, this garage belongs to the property. And then you sort of get everything above it. And then the top floor, and then the, the, uh, the terrace at the top. It really is a, it's a huge property. And look how characteristic it is around here. Farrah's a, a brilliant place. And this you can walk to the centre with no, no problem at all. Very close to the mountains here. But you're only 35 minutes away from the coast as well. So basically from here, you have this part here. Makes more sense obviously when we go in. This terrace, the whole of this top floor, this floor here, it wraps around this side of the building here. And then this balcony on the top. But it also goes beyond that. It's quite difficult to, to explain, but it's a, a typical, typical uh, town setup, should we say, that, uh, that you find in these, in these uh, amazing Abruzzo towns. These stunning Abruzzo towns. Look how close the mountain is there. The clouds are just coming over. They would do, wouldn't they? Again, it was beautiful sun. And just my luck that now the clouds are coming over. Okay, so the roof, I've been speaking to the owner about the roof because there's a few patches inside that look like they need doing. But the, the, it's in the program for the builder to go and change a number of tiles because the people underneath also have to contribute. Uh, but that's all going to be done before anybody buys it. Let's go and have a look inside this TARDIS, I'm going to call it, because this place is huge. Okay, so on this first floor, it is really about the garages and things. And here's the, the hallway. Really nice high ceilings. I know it's a little bit dark, so I don't know if this is coming through. I did ask the guy to leave the windows open, but maybe not. So this is literally storage. Okay, so it is full of stuff at the minute. And here, hopefully you can see this, 
is the garage. So you could easily, obviously there's a tractor in at the minute, you could easily get a car in there. So this is really handy because you can park the car inside, close the door behind you and you've got a little storage room. You can put bikes, skis, whatever it is, and off you go. Or you can leave random fridges. <laughs> okay, so this is little storage area underneath the stairs. Just a nice old fashioned entrance. Okay, let's take the stairs up to the living quarters. Now this is when it gets quite interesting. So we have a kitchen. Look at these tiles, groovy tiles. Quite a good sized kitchen. I don't know if you've seen the floor tiles as well. They're all the original doors. Look how high the ceilings are. These are all vaulted ceilings. Probably won't come across on the camera, but they are all vaulted. This is actually a great size kitchen. So this place is basic habitable in the sense that, you know, obviously very old, but you can still use it. Fireplace. I don't know if you can see the vaultings. And then from here, there is a strange net on the, uh, I think it's almost used as a, a cheap version of a fly screen. I'd say the sun's gone in now, it would do, wouldn't it? But you can see part of the mountains, hopefully, on that. But believe me, the views get unbelievable So, So also on this floor is the only bathroom in the house, but you can add bathrooms to this place. Obviously, it does need a little bit of work, obviously, updating and the rest of it, but this place is well worth spending money on. Well worth it. So in here, we have a good size bathroom. Again, as I said, it's all, all usable. It's all, it's not in that bad condition at all, really. And then from this area, we go out onto, he's closed everything up. I asked him to open everything. <laughs> closed absolutely everything up for me. We have a, a terrace. So if you wanted, if you ended up reconfiguring this bathroom and putting it somewhere else and doing other work in here, you could get rid of this altogether and just have a huge terrace off the kitchen, which would be, which would be brilliant. This is a really nice, uh, you really get the village, the village life. Look at the, uh, look at the mountains. And look how beautiful these buildings are next to it as well. So, so historical and so, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Atmospheric. See, you thought I was going to say something else then, didn't you? Well, I didn't. Okay, this next room, and some windows may start banging around because I've got everything open now. This next room is done as a bedroom, but this really should be a lounge. He did say originally it was a lounge. Look at the flooring again. Great. And this is a really light, the ceilings here have got to be, they can't be far off four meters, four meter height. This is a great, great size room. With two big windows and a little balcony off of what would be the lounge. And look at the views out here. Superb. You've got the you got the mountains and this that you're seeing here with the blue building, that's actually Di Cecco Pasta and Del Verde Pasta. So it's made in this town. So I'm sure you must have heard of Di Cecco. Di Cecco is exported all over the world. Uh, so it's not noisy at all. It's actually it's a great part of the town. Um, and there's, they've created waterfalls, picnic areas, and all that kind of thing, down in the cut of the mountain that you can't quite see from here, but it's sort of down, down here. Superb views from there, you can, looking almost down towards the sea. Okay, so that's this first level. 
and now, again, it gets wild because there's loads more rooms and they're big rooms as well. So get this in your head. Kitchen. The bathroom is out. Well, it's not outside, it's, it's on the terrace, it's all covered. And then you've got the terrace. And then you have the living area. So there is a few steps up to it. That's just the way they these old houses are. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera off and start again as we go up these stairs. Going up these few steps. This goes back into what's the lounge area. You've got stairs up, that'll show you what's up there. And then look at all these here. Another enormous room that's currently used. Italians love their dining rooms, they love to eat. Why not? So you could either have the other room that I said was a lounge as a bedroom, and then this can become a lounge. But for me, this feels more, more bedroomy. Is that a word? Bedroomy? Okay, look at the floors. And the ceilings again are so high. They've got to be, it's got to be three and a half meters, these ceilings. Obviously windows and doors, they're all right at the minute, but they, they could do with changing, obviously. Now people know I suffer from vertigo, so I'm not looking down. It's quite high. Look at the mountains. Those clouds look a little bit uh, vicious. To uh, turn the video off then for a huge sneeze. <laughs> I do like to keep my videos as natural as possible, but I don't think you all want to hear me sneezing away. What a great room. So this, I would say, bedroom. It's definitely big enough to have an ensuite. You could have three ensuites here if you want to. Look at this sofa. That'd be worth a fortune, that, if we took that somewhere. Anyway, moving on. Down this corridor, I would have it as another um, bedroom. Potentially closed off here, so it becomes almost like a suite. In here is a really terrible uh, addition <laughs> of a WC. But the good thing is that means the pipe works up here. So we could reuse that again and put an ensuite in this bedroom. Here you get views and a little balcony again. Views out, I know the windows are a little bit dirty. Look at these old photographs. I better not do close up, it's people's private things. And here's another bedroom. And this potentially has vaulted ceilings. Now the guys told me some of the marks you see on the ceiling, this is where they're gonna get the, the, the tiles sorted out. But again, the people below have to contribute as well. Which, yeah, that's, uh, and they're going to be doing that. They're going to be doing that really soon. This is an enormous bedroom. And again, with those same views of the, uh, of the mountainside. So that's two ginormous videos. Videos. Two ginormous bedrooms. It's Saturday. I shouldn't be working today. Should be relaxing, relaxing my brain. But I got a call and saw a couple of photographs and I thought, this one I've got to see. Okay, let's carry it on going up the next set of stairs. Okay, so, sorry I keep turning the video on, on, on and off, but uh, I do suffer from allergies and something's getting me. Something's blowing in through the windows that's uh, starting to get the dreaded hay fever. Anyway, enough about my ailments. Let's go up these marble stairs. So what could we do up here? Hmm. Well, this is almost crying out to be another bedroom. But, it's not really a but, it could be another bedroom easily. Again, vaulted ceilings, don't know if you can see that. I'd be tempted to put a corridor in here, a small corridor in here, this part, which you could easily do. 
because that goes to the roof terrace. So yeah, I would have this as a bedroom. And look, we've got plumbing up here as well. So we could easily add an ensuite. Really tall ceilings again. Another little balcony. And just look at this. This place is just so... Wow. These views are stunning. You've got to agree. You can't not agree. You know, I keep using that word because I've noticed now lots of other people are using it when they write the comments and it does make me smile. It's a little bit of fun I like to have in life. <laughs> Sad, aren't I? But there you go. Okay, so imagine that this did have a corridor. So this becomes almost like a guest bedroom. Your two main bedrooms are downstairs. You got, you can take this away here and have a corridor. It doesn't take that much off the, off the property. Or you could maybe have a summer kitchen. I don't know, it could be a, a dual purpose. Yeah, maybe have a bed sofa. This goes storage under the roof, a bit dark underneath there. Here gets a little bit strange, but it's just the way to get out. But great for storage. Absolutely full of stuff at the minute. But... <laughs> there you go. Now get ready. Get ready for this. And remember, and feel sorry for me because I do suffer from height, so I may not go to the edge. Look at this. Looking out over the whole town. Bit of wind. Forgot to bring my... Uh... I say this every time, don't I? I forget to bring my... My main mic. There you go, I was in a rush this morning. Look at the views. How amazing is this? This is stunning, stunning, stunning. I'm almost speechless. People that know me will know that that's very difficult for me. This is some of the, the builders already been to replace some of these tiles. You can see some of the cracked tiles, but they are coming to do, finish the whole roof in terms of checking for cracked tiles. Look at the size of this terrace, it's brilliant. And then the center, let me try a little bit of zooming in. The center, which I filmed earlier is that's the main church. And then the town above is Civitella Messa Raimondo. So here you're close to many towns. You're 10 minutes away from Casoli, close to Palombaro, half an hour from Lanciano, 35, 40 minutes to the coast, 40 minutes to the number one ski resort, right next to the national park. Need I go on? And you've got the amazing Di Cecco pasta that's here, that's made here. How cool is that? That is a brilliant town. You've got all the facilities that you need. There are bus services that regularly pass through here. They take you out towards Carsley, towards Lanciano, where you can get trains and all the rest of it. Um, so the bus services are great in, in, in this particular town and on to Carsley. I will look to see how many times a day. Well, you've got to admit, this is a brilliant one. Come on, admit it. This has got to be worth a punt, even if you're buying remotely. As you know, we're completely set up to buy remotely. What an unbelievably price, unbelievable price. 49995 The owner wanted 50 I think, but I'll give him the 5 euros. <laughs> oh, I love this one. Absolutely. Yes, it's big. Yes, it's big. Does it get any more Italian than this? I think I've pretty much done my final thoughts just, just on this now. This is where people start coming out now and shouting in the streets while I try and finish up. But no, final thoughts, what can I say? It's, it's, it is stunning, it's a stunning town. The property is just superb. There's just so much scope here. You could come in and start using it without spending a penny in it, if you wanted to. Or you could come and spend the same again what you bought it if you wanted to, and make it unbelievable. It's just, I just love it. 
absolutely love it. And I live 15, maybe 15 minutes away from here, so I know what this area is like. There's just some incredible places. The coastline down here is, is brilliant. Absolutely love it. Take a punt on this one, folks. We're here to help you. We're here to make sure that everything goes smoothly and this dream Italian property could be yours for the price of the price of a car. How ridiculous is that? Hope you enjoyed this one, folks. I'll keep posting more of these over the coming weeks. Keep these brilliant properties coming in that do tend to get snapped up very quickly by people that decide to remote buy. And we have all the services available for you. Thanks for the support. Please like the video and leave us a comment. It really does help the channel in a massive, massive way. And remember to join us every Thursday on our live streaming sessions where we talk about the legalities of buying a property here in Italy along with many, many other subjects. Come on, folks. Come and live the dream.